The first one I'm going to bring up here is a woman I saw in five easy pieces some years ago. And I got inspired to do a lot of the environmental work that I did because of her and Tony Basil with this, Tony Basil with this scene in Five Easy Pieces where they're talking about going up to Alaska because the environment is so screwed. So welcome, please, my dear friend. You've seen her in a million movies. I saw her do belly dancing back in the day, and she captivated me and everybody, and she's still, she's more fit than me as she always has been. Welcome up to the stage, Helena Calignotes. Helena. I just got out of the hospital. And I just got in from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, just to see Harry Dean. Uh, in the early 60s, I was dancing in a club on Hollywood Boulevard. I would see this guy sitting on the side of the stage, holding a guitar, looking so sad. One night, he asked me if, he, if the musicians would let him sing. I said, I'm on a break and you can sing as long as you want. <laughs> he stood in the middle of the stage looking very, very sad and sang four Mexican songs. I thought, this Mexican guy is brilliant. <laughs> and I never saw him again. Years passed and I was living in Mulholland, on Mulholland with a friend of mine and in walks this Mexican guy. I didn't say anything to him, and he didn't say anything to me. But he still looked sad. He was very sad. I was attracted to the sadness. I would see him at Dan Tanner's. We became friends. And uh, at the roller skating club, he comes up to me and says, uh, Rebecca wants me to buy her a pair of roller skates. Do you think she's using me? <laughs> I think she's using me. I said, Harry, look at you. You have a big nose, big ears, and you're not bad looking, and five times older than her. You are lucky to have her. Buy her all the roller skates you want. One night on the rocks, Harry asked me to teach him how to waltz. Waltz? I thought, he's been throwing the I Ching all this time, and he wants me to teach him how to waltz. I thought the waltz, he must be getting married. But then I thought, he's too cheap to get married. <laughs> so we start the waltz, me leading him now, and I say, Harry, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. He breaks from me, my grip and yells out, this is bullshit. <laughs> and begins to do some dance I've never seen before. <laughs> now furious, he says, there are no steps. I can do what I want. <laughs> then why do you teach me to tell you how to dance? to the waltz. There are no numbers. There's only now. <laughs> are you in the now, he says to me. Everything else is bullshit. Only the now, this moment. It's all planned. You cannot change anything. Only the now is is what it is. What a strange guy. <laughs> and then he says to me, by the way, have we ever fucked? <laughs> I didn't speak to him for a year. <laughs> and that's all I can say about Harry Dean. I have more stories. 